Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that the United States will replace Ukrainian leader Vladimir Zelensky after spring 2025. Putin made the remarks while addressing a meeting with the heads of international news agencies. The law has to be passed and certain steps have to be taken. Now we are in June 2024, and in order to do this, I feel, it will take a year, until the spring, until the beginning of next year at the very least, he will be tolerated. When he is done, they will say, goodbye, Putin said. The Russian leader stressed that the West already has, a few candidates, for the post of Ukraine's president, adding that Zelensky's presidential term can be viewed as an attempt to seize power in accordance with the country's criminal code. Commenting on Zelensky's presidential term, Putin said, there is a law that defines the martial law status. It says that his powers are transferred to the parliament, and that presidential elections are not held as long as the martial law is in force. But it does not say that presidential powers should be extended. There is also Article 109 of Ukraine's Criminal Code, which says that this should be treated as seizure of power, Putin added. It should be noted that Zelensky will meet US President Joe Biden in France next week to commemorate the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Biden is also expected to meet with Zelensky during the G7 in Italy next week, according to White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. The two countries' leaders last met in December last year to make a plea for military support for Ukraine. Biden in April signed a bill providing over $60 billion in aid for military aid to Ukraine after several months of delay. A veteran of World War II tried to kiss Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's hand during the D-Day 80th anniversary commemoration of Normandy invasion. Ukrainian president stopped the veteran and thanked him for his contribution to save Europe during the war. Zelensky arrived in France on Thursday to attend the D-Day commemorations. He is expected to meet U.S. President Joe Biden on the sidelines of the visit.